If I could go back and give my younger self advice, this is what I would tell the 20 year old Adam. Stop playing scales and modes up and down the fretboard. I literally wasted hours, weeks, months likely of my life. A little bit of that is fine, but I should have applied the scales I was practicing to songs almost right away. It's good because you learn how to connect one chord into the next using enclosures, chromatic notes, and other creative ways that you invent. slant on it, you begin to develop your own style and sound right away. The same thing with arpeggios, dude. It's better to play arpeggios through the chord changes to an actual song. I'm going to use arpeggios up to the ninth in this example. Then, figure out how to connect the arpeggios, making the transitions sound smooth. Guess what? Same thing with chords and chord inversions. Voice lead chords throughout songs almost immediately. A little bit of playing chord inversions up the fretboard is fine to start with, but playing them through a song gets you implementing new chords much faster and you're learning an actual song in the process. And add simple moving lines as well. It's much more practical and it reflects a real playing scenario. Learn, i.e. memorize songs. One good thing I did was learn songs. However, I would give myself the advice to learn even more. Try this. Work on one song a week. After seven days, you'll know the song really well because you really worked it out. You might miss a week here and there. So let's say you could learn 45 new songs per year. Multiply that by 10 years, that's 450 songs. On top of the songs that you might already know even. Play with others as much as possible. I know for a fact I would have improved much faster if I played and jammed with others a lot more than I did. Getting your ass handed to you by better players is the quickest way to learn. Or at the very least, you're learning to listen to your bandmates and interact with them. Don't get addicted to play-alongs, jam tracks, at all. Much later in life, I learned of play-alongs. For some things, I feel play-alongs or jam tracks are good, but not good for learning how to interact with people. Now, they can be a good learning tool if used sparsely and for the right reasons. One good thing they are good for is learning to keep track of where you are in the song 
you learn to live with their mistakes and keep playing. In that sense, it does help your flow of ideas. It's okay mostly for playing exercises, but it doesn't react to what you do. So therefore, you can't interact with it. Warning, if overdone, you could get sucked into a nasty, myopic approach where you only learn to listen to yourself. This can lead to overplaying and not developing listening and interacting skills. Which also leads me to hang out more. I struggle with this because of certain things that happened to me when I was a young kid that made me feel cut off from friends and made me feel unworthy of maintaining close friendships. It still holds some residual effects. To this day, what seems natural or easy for other people can sometimes be challenging for me. Fostering relationships can have a major impact on your future career by getting recommendations for gigs, among other things. And even if you don't want to be a professional musician, you just, you never know where it leads. I don't think Miles Davis answered a trumpet player wanted ad that Charlie Parker took out in the local paper. The music business is like the rest of the world. It's all who you know. Learn how to use chord tones in your solos so anyone is able to hear the chord changes without anybody playing chords for you. I have several great videos that you can watch on this very topic. I encourage you to check them out. I'll leave a short playlist for you below. Remember when I talked about scales earlier? Learning scales is an important thing because it gives you concrete knowledge of what to play over chords. At the same time, it trains your ear to hear what to play. This video over here shows you step by step on how to do this fantastic exercise on an actual jazz standard so you'll end up feeling way more comfortable knowing what to play in a jazz context. I'll see you there and I'll teach you all about it.